Hello everybody, I wanted to record you a quick little review for your quiz. Um, if at first you don't succeed, try again is the motto. This is take four. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really frustrated. Um, all right, this is, this is it. This is going to work. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what translations are. I don't think I have to spend too much time. I think most of you understand that they're a slide. So if I have a triangle here, I can slide it. You know, I can slide it to the right. I could slide it up. I could slide it down. I could slide it to the left. I could slide it a left a little or a left a lot. Those are translations. Reflections are like when you have a mirror, you see your reflection. Your reflection looks just like you, but opposite. You know, it's like when you're raising your right hand, your mirror image looks like it's raising your left hand. And when you're close to the mirror, it looks like it's close to the mirror. Same thing, except instead of a mirror, the line is called a line of symmetry. So if I have a triangle like this, when I reflect it, I'm going to use the y-axis as my line of symmetry. When I reflect it over the y-axis, it looks the same shape, but it looks opposite, but it's still the same distance from the y-axis. Like this point is still one away from the y-axis, and this point is still three away. I can reflect it over the y-axis. I can also reflect over the x-axis. Let's watch me reflect it over the x-axis now. I'm going to flip it down here. Again, same shape, but reversed, same distance from the y-axis. Okay, now, or did I, or sorry, the x-axis. Now I can also flip it back up over an x-axis. It doesn't always have to go down. It can go up. I can also draw in any line I want and reflect it over any line I want. Whoops, technical difficulties. Okay, um, but we're not going to go that far. Now, rotation is when you have a, cent point, a center of rotation or a pivot point, like right there. And I can rotate clockwise 90 degrees or 180 or 270 or 360 or counterclockwise 90, 180, etc. Or I can choose a point out here and rotate around that point if I want to. And if I want to rotate 90 counterclockwise or 180 or 270 counterclockwise. Okay, now since most of the quiz is on translations, let's pick a point. I'm going to use this point right here. I'm going to call it A. And A is at negative 2, positive 3. Right? Negative 2, positive 3. Now, some of you in your um, notebooks moved the A's around. You weren't supposed to move anything. The, when I placed the A's in your notebook, I just didn't, I was a little lazy and I didn't want to take the time to write the letter and the point. So I just made the letter. And like, let's look down here. If I had, say that's my X and my Y. Let's say my A was right there. Well, I would say that that A is at the intersection of negative 1, 1. I would say A is negative 1, 1. Yeah, but if I had a letter B right here, um, I don't even know what those coordinates are. It's in the middle of a bunch of stuff. It's in the middle of negative 1 and negative 2. It's in the middle of 0, negative 1. It's in the middle. I don't want that. So if you moved your A's, I probably moved them back and then told you to redo it, which you can and get more points. Okay, so let's say I have point A and I want to perform a translation to it that looks like this. Let's say I'm gonna do x plus three, y minus one. And I'm gonna perform that translation or use that rule of translation and find the image of A when I'm done. Well, x plus three means I'm going to move that point three spaces to the right because on a number line positive is to the right negatives to the left positive is also up and down but on the x-axis plus is to the right minus would be to the left so I'm going to move three to the right one two three and then y minus one means as far as the up and down direction I'm going to move one down down one puts me right there that's where my image would be. So my image, A prime, my image A prime would be at, uh, 
one, oh, I didn't really put it exactly there. One, two. It would be at one, two. Okay? So you can use the graph to do it. Um, all of, most, I think all of the questions, no, some of them don't have a graph on your quiz. So you're going to have to use the numbers. So remember how I showed you in class. If you have negative two plus three, it's positive one. If you have positive three minus one, it's two. So if you have a picture, then you can count it out or figure it out. If you don't have a picture, you're just going to use the numbers like I just did. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's say I have A, and let's say, oh wait, I gotta move A a little. Let's move just a smidge. It's a little different. Negative three, positive three. Negative three, positive three. And let's say in this case, I'm going to say y, or sorry, sorry, that should be next. x plus five, y plus one x plus 5, y plus 1. That's my transformation. I'm going to use technical difficulties again. My little uh, phone setup here is not perfect. Okay, but what is in life? So x plus 5 means I'm going to move 5 to the right. I keep moving to the right, don't I? Um, I don't have to move to the right, you know. I can move to the left. In fact, let's do one where it's going to the left so you guys don't always think that it's a slide to the right. It's not always a slide to the right. Let's do one that's a slide to the left. Okay, here's my A. My new A is at 2, 3. My new A is at 2, 3. This means slide to the left, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then slide up 1. Up 1. There's my A prime. A prime is the image of A. A prime is at negative 3. Four. All right, I can also do it with the numbers. Two minus five is negative three. Three plus one is four. Oh, you can't really see that one. There you go. Three plus one is four. Yay! Okay, that, my friends, is how you perform a translation. Now, let's just say that they gave you two points and they want you to tell them what happened. What happened? So let's say you have a point here and a point here. Okay, let's say this was my original. This is my original. And it goes from here, which is 4, 1, to here, which is 1, 1. That's my image, A prime. So it started there. And then it slid, it slid to there. Now, you know what? Um, it slid, you can think of it two ways. You can think of it as going to the left and then up, or you can think of it as up and then over. But either way, it moves three to the left. One, two, three to the left. And the way we signify that three to the left is x minus three. So three to the left, one, two, three, and then one, two up, two up, and the way we signify that is y plus two. So I could say, well, I moved it three to the left and up two, if I was using words, I'd say it moved three to the left and up two, or I could say x minus three, y plus two. All right, good luck on your quiz. I'm rooting for you.